Hi, so welcome to this another wonderful episode of Cat Question of the Day initiative. So this is a wonderful initiative, and my name is Kamal Lohia, and I'm very happy to present another beautiful episode with all of you. And I'm sure that you have already seen and solved this question. Or if you have not done it yet, somehow you missed that, so you still have chance. I'm getting aside. You can pause your video. Or take a screenshot and solve it on your own first, and after that we are sure, we are going to discuss it. Okay, so your time starts now. Fine. So I hope you have tried it. Now, एक तो मुझे ये बताना था कि I'm really very encouraged, very much encouraged by your active participation. All of you are participating so enthusiastically, solving the questions, and there are so many correct answers. Tick 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 tick. But coming back to this question now, so uh, in this series of uh, questions in this uh, initiative cat question of the day, uh, this was the first question where I found where I got uh, many wrong answers also. बड़ी आसानी से लोग गलतियां कर देते हैं. So geometry is known for that. That how do you commit errors, mistakes कर देते हैं? We assume so many things, right? Uh, unnecessary कुछ भी मान लेते हैं. Equal ही होगा, equal ही होगा, something like that. तो मैनी स्टूडेंट्स आंसर 90 का डबल कर देते हैं 180 180 वाज़ द मोस्ट कॉमन रॉन्ग आंसर्स आई गोट इन द कमेंट्स एंड सम स्टूडेंट इवन रोड 270 एंड देवर सम अदर आंसर्स एस वेल बट फ्यू करेक्ट आंसर्स वर आल्सो देयर सो लेट्स सी हाउ वी कैन सॉल्व दिस क्वेश्चन एंड इन कैट जनरली दे डोंट आस्क फॉर एनी फैंसी फॉर्मूले और इक्वेशन और समथिंग दे आर जस्ट यूजिंग द बेसिक कॉन्सेप्ट तो इस क्वेश्चन के लिए हमें क्या बेसिक कॉन्सेप्ट चाहिए सो वी आर हैविंग द एरियाज राइट so the rectangle is made of eight colored squares so all these are colored squares right this color shapes here you are seeing here this yellow one is a square this green one is a square green one another square and two green squares are equal they are visible also fine same way these two blue squares are also equal and these two uh, three red squares they are also equal so combining all these three and one four and four eight these eight squares as mentioned here these eight colored squares they make up a rectangle right this total part is a this total figure is a rectangle now which is colorful colored rectangle so what is given here is find the area of the rectangle mujhe is puri area ka is rectangle ka area nikalna hai and what is given area of the yellow square is 90 so only this one numerical information is given that area of this yellow square is 90 we need to find the area of this complete rectangle Now, uh, can we figure out it faster? Yes, maybe. Why not? Why not? So let's see how to go about this, right? Let's see how to go about this. So let's write it here. So here's the question again, and here we are having some space. So, इसको कैसे करना है? There could be various ways. Various ways. Ratios is one very important part, right? Uh, by the way, all of you know how to calculate area of a square. Do you know that? Yes, area of square is side into side or side square. And similarly, what is area of a rectangle? That is length into breadth, isn't it? So it is same basically for both the figures. In case of a square, both the length and breadth are equal. In case of a rectangle, that is not compulsory, right? So let me write that. That is the only prerequisite. So area of a rectangle is how much? It is length multiplied with breadth of the rectangle, of course. ठीक है ना तो दैट इज ओनली रिक्वायरमेंट आई एम श्योर कि दिस इज नॉट अ रॉकेट साइंस आई थिंक सिक्स सेवन क्लास का बच्चा ये जानता है एंड इन यू आर सर्टेनली बेटर मच बेटर देन दैट राइट दैट इज एट इज एक्सपेक्टेड ओके नाउ हाउ टू प्रोसीड नाउ इंपॉर्टेंट क्लू इज दैट वी शुड लुक फॉर द इक्वल लेंस कौन सी लेंस इक्वल है विच लेंस कैन बी कंपेयर विद ईच अदर एंड सोन राइट ओके सो लेट मी एज्यूम द लेंथ ऑफ येलो स्क्वेयर इज वाई लेट मी एज्यूम दैट आई एम सेइंग दैट Uh, length of yellow square is y. No need to write that. We can understand that length of yellow square is y. Length of red square is red. Now, can you compare me? Can you compare and tell me that uh, yellow square ki length and red square ki length? What is the relation? Yes, you can see that the length of yellow square is equal to the length of three red squares. I can say yellow is equal to this yellow length y is equal to three r, isn't it? Or basically y by r is equal to three by one. Is it fine? So if I say the length of yellow square is three x, then uh, length of red square is one x. Is it fine? Yes, of course. And how we are seeing that? We are seeing from this one side here. So this one side of yellow square, uh, it is covering the three sides of these three red squares, which are all equal, of course. Now same way, uh, if I see this side, so this one green square 
So one green length is equal to how many red, uh, how many blue ones? So we can see these are two uh, blue squares here, right? So this one length is a blue B. So this is also B. So this is total 2B. So this G is equal to 2B. In other words, we can say that G by B is equal to 2 is to 1. So if I say this uh, length of green square as 2Y, then length of blue square becomes 1Y. Is this fine? Okay, now comes the important part here. So let me write here this uh, yellow length we have written to as 3X. And this red one we have written as 1X. And same with this uh, green we have written as 2Y. And this blue as, this is also 2Y and this green and this blue is 1Y. Fine. So of course this is also 1Y, 1Y like that 1X, 1X, 1X. Okay. Uh, now point is that if we get to know a relationship between this X and Y, then we can get our answer. Isn't it? Okay. Now is there any comparison? Yes. So if I see this common line, just see this common line. So this common line here, it is made up of this yellow as well as red. And also it is made up by this green and blue lens. Isn't it? Yes. So, so basically uh, this is 3x and 1x. So this total length is basically 4x. We can just compare these lengths only, right? We have already mentioned that. So this uh, breadth or this height of this rectangle, which we have written as 4x here. And here we have written as 5y, right? So 3x plus 1x is 4x. So let me write this 4x or I should write it completely. So this 3x plus 1x is equal to 2y, 2y and 1y. Which means 4x equal to 5y, right? So the relation which you are looking for between x and y, we have got that. This 4x is nothing but equal to 5y. Let it be equal to some other variable. Let it be 20k. Right? I'm using another variable and what is the benefit of that? Now I can convert all these values, all these variables x and y into k. Okay, in the common variable here. So from here we got to know if I compare these two terms, if I equate these two terms here. So 4x is equal to 20k, it means x equals to 20 by 4, that is 5k. And same way if I compare these two terms here. So 5y equals to 20k, which means y equals to 20 by 5. Right, y equals to 20 by 5, that is 4k. Fine. So just plug in these values here and we are done. And we are done. Okay. So let me use yellow only. So x is equal to 5k. So x is equal to 5k. This becomes 5k. 5 into 3, 15k, right? And this is 5k. So the, basically this total becomes 20k, right? This total length, uh, this height becomes 20k. Okay. So this is 15k. This is also 15k. Now here, uh, y is 4k, so uh, 2 times y, that is 2 times 4k, that is 8k. So this green length is basically 8k, this is also 8k, and this is 4k, right? So 8 and 8, 16 and 4, 20, fine, that's obviously fine, 20, and this is 8, so this is also 8k. So now we have got everything, right? We have got everything now. So now, what was given to us numerical value? We were having the area of a square, which was 90. So what is this uh, side length? It is 15k into 15k. So given is... Given is 15k into 15k is equal to 90, isn't it? This is given as 90. If you want to simplify it, we can do that. 15, 6 are 90, right? Uh, let's uh, leave it here only. So from here, basically, we got to know this k into k, k square is equal to 6 by 15. Okay? Of course, we can cancel out further, but let it be, let it be. So uh, what we are to calculate, actually, we want to calculate the area of, find the area of, the rectangle, we want to calculate the area of this entire rectangle, which is basically length into breadth. So what is this length here? This is 15 plus 8, that is 23k, right? So this area is 15k plus 8k, that is the uh, length into breadth is 15k plus 5k, or basically 20k, right? This is 15k plus 5k, let me write. So it comes out to be this 23k multiplied with 20k. Right now, this 23 into 20 into k square, which we have already figured out, which is 6 by 15. Right, we just need to simplify that. Right, we just need to simplify that. So, if I cancel out that common factor 3 also, so 3 2s are 6, 3 5s are 15, and 5 4s are 20. Fine, so that's it. So, 4 into 2, 8, 8 into 3, 24, 24 and 160 makes it 184. So, this is the answer. Fine. So this was a simple question, not difficult at all. 
but uh, very easily uh, by some silly errors, right? Uh, with some uh, some basic mistakes, basic uh, uh, misunderstandings. We can we could have reached to the wrong answer, and which you can also find in the options. Fine. So I hope you have learned it, and I hope you have got the basic ideas, right? This is very basic thing. Fine. So we shall meet you soon in the next video, and in the comments, I would like to write uh, how you are, what is your experience of this series, and uh, what next you want to see. Thank you.